Justin and I are coming back from a lovely adventure to get fittings. Having fun, Justin? Butt loads. Butt loads. I don't know if you can see it, but that fitting's cracked. Oh, there it is. Well, you could have seen it, then I started bouncing. Look at that. Right in there. Fittings cracked, so we're leaking tranny through it all over. Got some steel ones. Thank you to Tubes and Hoses in Loveland. My man's. And some steel fittings to replace this one. This fitting. I don't know if you can see that or not. At least not very well. Look at that. Sick. Awesome. Racy, racy. We broke the door. I wouldn't say it's broken, but we're missing a. See how the latch is? Can't latch the car. So one of those bolts fell out and we can't find it. It just so happened that it was in the lanes as we were about to go make a pass. So we had to get a broke dick or a broke by. So. That sucked. Oh well, live to race another day. Still fighting boost control issues. The first pass, nothing but the uh, boost, uh, boost cut the whole pass. So, I guess that's it. You got anything, any words of wisdom to add, Justin? You don't want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> It's not, it's not appropriate for YouTube content. <laughs> Oh, yeah! <laughs>
working on some boost control issues. And I'll try, I don't know if I've got a, there's one of the old ones, that's from the red car. The one from here, good times, we found out something. Supposed to be a port in there and it uh we just blew it right out so that was why we weren't getting any boost control so we're gonna go to a mac valve setup and i was just testing this out so this is our incoming air here this is a vent here and this is out to the waste gates right now i just have that going in the car so i can test it um, basically what we're gonna do is just control it with dome pressure, kind of, because we don't have the setup to run two solenoids. So we're just gonna try to run one for now. These came with the car. Um, we do have, there's a back pressure sensor that's not hooked up and a dome pressure sensor. Dome pressure would be for the boost control. This would be for the hot side of the exhaust. We are all out of inputs, so we don't have those hooked up. We don't have anywhere to do it. That's why I can't use the two port or the two solenoid control because I don't have anywhere to bring in a another sensor for dome pressure. So this is how we've got it set up on the ECU. You can see we've got, there's controls enabled. We've got single solenoid slow, 26 Hertz. I found that that actually works best. We're using the same boost pin, normal. And I found that below 12, it doesn't do anything. So we're going 12% to 100%. And then this is the line coming from there that I was just kind of testing to see how much air pressure was coming in. We're going to close that. We'll go up here to turn the ECU on first. We'll go over here to IO2 test mode. Nope, wrong one. That's our CAN bus. We want to do this one there. There we go. And then we're going to enable test mode. And it's right here, PP3 boost. We've got 26 hertz. I'm going to change that to 12. We're going to make sure our bottle's on. And then we're going to put this right here into pulse. So that's the least amount of pressure we can get, and it's not much at all. And then we'll go, I'll show you guys the difference. So here'd be like, so 12 is gonna be pretty much nothing, not even enough to open the wastegate. 25 should be about 10 pounds of boost. Noticeably more air pressure. I don't wanna do more than that because I don't wanna waste all my CO2 but you get the idea. So the higher we go up, every 17% is gonna be about 10 pounds. So 17% over the 12 is 10 pounds, another 17% is 10 pounds, so on and so forth. The reason that we had to forfeit was because this latch came out on Friday. This, there was a bolt in here, you can see there's one there, and the bolt just fell out, so. Replace that with a really long steel rivet. There we go. It'll latch the rest of the way. I just got to push. The door's fixed. And now I've got to change this line over. So this was the test line right here. So that line comes up. That was just so I could test it in the car. And this is our actual boost line. So you can see that goes to the top of the wastegates. Nothing to the bottom. And we're gonna go right to this guy. Throw a few zip ties on here so it stays out of the way of the turbo. And ain't nothing to it but to do it and go test it.